Well, gas leaks and chemical spills and industrial accidents all put first responders in danger. And in Nanaimo today, the province's environmental emergencies crew conducted a training exercise to make sure that different groups responding to those potential disasters are working together. Hey, News reporter Brent Shearer was at the training exercise today. He joins us now in our Mid-Island Bureau. Brent. Hudson, 15 environmental emergency response officers from 10 different communities across the province were here today brushing up on skills that could one day prevent an industrial accident from turning deadly. The tank inside this garage is leaking chlorine. It's a situation with potentially deadly consequences at Nanaimo's Conexus facility. Normally, the company's own emergency response crew would be able to deal with the accident, but this is an emergency exercise. It's a chance for the Provincial Environmental Emergencies Program to work together with first responder groups that would be called out to a situation like this. It's a great opportunity for us to get our guys down here, learn a little bit more of the specifics of what's here, and in the event there, there is an incident down the road at some point, uh, they have a little more experience and understanding of the, the parameters around these facilities. Conexus Chemicals primarily produces sodium chloride, which is used in the pulp industry, and it also works with chlorine, the chemical leaking in today's emergency scenario. The company prides itself on being a safe facility and on being prepared if an accident does happen. The worst case scenario is if you had a chlorine leak, is it, it's a gas, it's a vapor, so it's going to expand into the surrounding areas. So it's important that first responders, such as the fire department, uh, ambulance services, RCMP, know how to cordon an area off, make sure that the public is safe, and make sure that the responders uh, would be properly trained and protected for their own safety. Being familiar with an industrial site like this and being able to work together with the province's hazardous materials team is key for emergency responders. In the unlikely event an accident like this ever happens, fire crews will have the skills to deal with the situation. When we drive by the, the facility here on the road you, and you wonder what's in those containers down there, this puts some reality into what it is that we're going to be asked to come to. Once a year, BC's environmental emergency team tours the province conducting exercises like this. It's important training because fortunately, large-scale industrial chemical accidents don't happen very often. The Ministry of Environment receives anywhere between 2,500 and 3,000 spill reports every year that the environmental response officers you saw in that story attend to. Now, the Ministry says these larger incidents may be few and far between. However, they do happen, and that's why training exercises like the one today are so important. Mm -hmm. That's it. Brent, you're reporting. Brent, thank you. Thank you.